Well, hello, Blue Troopers. I hope you're having a wonderful Mother's Day. I uh, got a little bit of work done today. I got my, what you might call, contingency build for the airliner build done, Convair 880. And yes, I'm pretty sure those engines are too close together, but that's the way they made the kit. But uh, although the TWA decals were usable, the original ones, they broke a few times and required some very tender handling, but I got them on. And I weathered the wings, the way I told you, down around the seam lines without over... Uh, emphasizing the panel lines and eh, I think it pretty much looks like what a you know line working airliner wing and fuselage would look like you know they keep the bodies polished pretty good but I use some flats on the wings to dull them out some because they're usually not really what people see when the airplane pulls up to the gate and that's not what the airlines worried about keeping pretty they want that big logo on the tail on the side of the airplane to be bright and white or whatever their color may be so then I turned around and pulled a bit of a, a boo-boo. I was prepping the uh, F-80 for some paint, and I put uh, some anodized aluminum color on it, and I thought, you know, I'm going to offset that with a, a little uh, shiny bare aluminum to give it some contrast. Well, this happened. Uh, the paints reacted with each other, even though they're both Tamiya paints. Here's what I did wrong. The paints came off uh, did not they came off the racks that were next to each other but not the same racks the TS is for hard plastic but I'd found that other aluminum over by the RC cars those are PS they're made to go on clear polycarbonate so they're different formulas and they reacted even though both Tamiya paints now had I put some clear coat between them probably wouldn't have that problem but I didn't and so now, once this thing hardens, I get to sand it back all down again and start over. You know, one step forward, two steps back. Or as the old saying goes, never time to do it right, always time to do it over. Well, that's all part of the fun of model building. I also uh, got to work on the Heracles. I think I'm going to do one of these in the military markings. A lot of people don't realize that the Heracles, even though it was very much an outdated airplane by the outbreak of World War II, the RAF grabbed the few that were still flying and pressed them into service as transports because they, they were still airplanes. It's too bad none of them survived. Uh, they only built eight of them, uh, the 42s and the 45s. Uh, the only difference between two of them was, I think, how they were set up for range and cargo. But they didn't survive. I think at least three of them were destroyed by wind damage because, obviously, with that big parasol wing up top, they were quite the uh, uh, target for high winds. So... Uh, Anyway, I think it looks pretty cool in military colors. What I did with this first one building as the airliner, though, is I'm uh, painting the fuselage with uh, just the aluminum this time. Uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, let that harden. Well, it actually has hardened. Put the windows in. They've already been clear coated. And then I'm just going to put a piece of tape over the whole side of the airplane. Then finish on both sides and finish building the model. And that way, when I paint it and everything, uh, I don't have to do each window individually with the tape and the uh, that section of the airplane is already painted. Just trying to make the job a little bit easier because it's such a small scale. Well, that's where we're at for right now. I'm uh, still ticking away and having a good day of building after our family affairs today. Uh, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful Mother's Day. Take care of yourselves, and as always, model on.